everybody, welcome. This is our first Vendor Friday series where we get to talk to some of our amazing vendors that we have at Rens and answer some of your product questions that you have and learn more about the product and how they can benefit your pet. I'm Melissa, I'm here with my co-host Porter and we have Colin from Triacta. Hi Colin. Hey everyone. So Colin's going to give us a little bit of a rundown on what Triacta does and how it can benefit your pet. And then we're going to answer some questions from you guys, the, the viewers that you had asked on Monday. And make sure to tune in to the very end because, of course, we're going to be giving a giveaway just like Renz always does. So make sure to watch the video all the way through for your chance to win some awesome prizes. So I'm going to turn it over to you, Colin. All right. Yeah. So I had a look at, uh, at all the questions that were posted on the Rens page there, some really good questions and some really interesting insights to hear what, uh, what you guys want to learn more about the product. Um, I'll just explain a little bit first what the product is, what it does, um, and then we'll get right into the questions. So essentially Triacta is a supplement for joint health and mobility. Uh, we manufacture two formulas. We have a regular strength product and a maximum strength product. Each format comes in three different sizes. So there's a 60 gram option, 160 gram option, and a 300 gram option. The products are essentially designed to repair cartilage, prevent it from breaking down, and also to reduce the inflammation. So they will treat the cause and the symptoms if there's a mobility concern or an arthritic condition. Awesome, that's great. Yeah, I was looking at a lot of the, uh, the questions and we do have one uh, from Lynn, Lynn O'Hare. So we're calling that to your question here, but a lot of people were asking, is this product okay to feed long-term? Yeah, so one of the features with Triacta is that it is designated by Health Canada under a program called Low Risk Veterinarian Health Product or LRVHP. Health Canada has designated Triacta as a product that is considered to have no side effects and is also safe for long-term use. It's also designated as a product that doesn't have any contraindications with other veterinary medicines or supplements. So you can safely use it with other um, medications and supplements and that sort of thing. Um, and certainly there's benefit long-term um, and there's no harm with that as well. Yeah, that's great. Uh, I've used the product before and my dogs really do well on it. Uh, another question we had from um, Paula uh, was, is Triacta just to treat a specific condition or can you give it to dogs that are young and old? Okay, yeah, so we do have two formulas. The regular strength is generally recommended for younger dogs. Um, it can be recommended and used um, if you have a puppy. Um, for puppies, there is value here, and the value is really to support the development of the joint structures during growth and maturation. Um, hip dysplasia often occurs during development. It's not often diagnosed until much later. But if you support the development during growth and maturation, you reduce the chances of developing issues later in life. Um, there's also value with the regular strength for younger dogs that are fully grown, um, um, but still relatively young and healthy and active. A good place to start um, using Triacta would be around three, four, or five. The reason this is important is because um, all of the components in the regular strength product are naturally occurring in the dog's body. They produce it on their own. However, dogs lose the ability to produce these things at relatively early stages in their life. Often around four or five, that's when the natural production starts to slow down. Some dogs, the natural production will slow down relatively dramatically and you'll notice symptoms early in life. And some it's pretty gradual and you don't notice symptoms until a little bit later in life. In either case, adding a little bit of triacta to their diet um, compensates for what the animal is not producing and delays the onset of osteoarthritis. Unfortunately, dogs do experience osteoarthritis at much higher rates than other mammals. Um, they say nine in 10 dogs over the age of 10 have osteoarthritis to some degree. So it's very, very common. Um, so there is preventative value and you can delay the onset of osteoarthritis and other mobility concerns as the animal gets older. Oh, wow, that's great. Now, the, yeah, so, and then the maximum strength product, um, that one you would use if your dog was a little bit older or if there was a, a more advanced condition um, and more advanced mobility concern, perhaps an injury, anything like dysplasia, luxating patella, arthritis, um, 
pre-surgery, post-surgery, that sort of thing. So if there's any visible signs of stiffness, soreness, or an injury or concern, the maximum strength is, re is, is really, really therapeutic. It has a component added to it called hyaluronic acid. And what that does is it increases the supply and the viscosity of the joint fluid. So that's gonna lubricate the joints. It's very, very powerful, very therapeutic, and also very fast acting. Cool, yeah, no, that's, that's great information. Um, I know when a lot of people think of joint issues, they think of a lot of times like larger dogs, you have the German Shepherds or, you know, Great Danes. Can this product be used on small dogs? I know Jen had asked, she's got a four pound Chihuahua. So she wanted to know, can smaller dogs benefit from this product as well? Yeah, I mean, most people, when they think of joint issues, they'll often think of some of the larger breeds, um, German Shepherds, Golden Retrievers, Labs, that sort of thing. Um, osteoarthritis happens in any breed. Hip dysplasia can happen in any breed. Um, and other injuries can happen in any breed, breed as well. Um, and it's not always the breeds that you're thinking of. Pugs, for example, have the highest rate of hip dysplasia among all breeds. So that's kind of an interesting thing. Most people think of German Shepherds, but it's actually pugs that experience hip dysplasia at higher wow. rates. With regards to small dogs like Chihuahuas, small dogs often experience a condition called luxating patella. Um, you see it, it's, it's common in, in dogs like Chihuahuas, Pomeranians, Bichons, Yorkies, Maltese, this sort of thing. Essentially what luxating patella is, is the kneecap is moving or sliding out of position or it's dislocating out of position. And that creates friction on the cartilage and wears away the cartilage at faster rates. So if you have a small dog um, and you're noticing a little bit of stiffness, soreness, um, or a little bit of um, regularity in the gait, um, it's possible that there's a bit of a luxating patella uh, that is a common condition in small breeds. Wow, that's really good information. I didn't even know that. Uh, so now we're talking, this is a dog specific product, right? I know I had a couple of people asking if uh, you could use it on cats, but it's more of a dog specific uh, product. Yeah, you know what? We, we do tend to sort of overemphasize um, dogs in, in, um, in our marketing and in, in our messaging and that sort of thing. But there, there definitely is value for cats. We do manufacture it for cats as well. Um, Cats do experience osteoarthritis at relatively high rates as well. They do tend to hide it a little bit more than dogs. They tend to be stoic. Um, often osteoarthritis goes undiagnosed in cats, um, but it, it, it is quite common as well. And Triactus certainly does have value for cats. Generally for a cat, you would require about half a serving of Triacta a day for therapeutic value. Um, and that would be enough. So you don't have to administer a lot, but, um, but definitely value for your cat. Oh, that's something I didn't know. So I have a cat as well, and maybe I should be giving her some because she's pretty wild and crazy. She's just a little yeah. kit, little Bengal kitten. So she's she's crazy. <laughs> that's great. So I have one last question from Jen. She wants okay. to know if mixing it with wet or dry food will change the effectiveness of the product. Okay. So all of the components in Triacta are naturally stable. Um, you don't have to refrigerate the product. It can be stored in a cool, dry place on your counter and your cupboard. Um, whether you feed raw food, wet food, dry food, it doesn't really make a difference. Just add it to the, to the dog or the cat's feed um, and it does not change the efficacy of the product in any way. It's also water soluble. So I know a few customers that will actually dissolve it in water and that's, that works oh. best for their pet. So what I say is just, you know, as long as you've got a diet that's working for your dog, you don't need to change that in any way. Um, wet food, raw food, dry food, doesn't make a difference. Great. Okay. Uh, that's all the questions that we're going to go over from our customers. So now I want to get to the giveaway. So Colin has agreed, or if you'd love to give away, uh, we're going to give away four. So we're going to give away two regular and two max Triacta products. So if you want to win and try this for your pet, Make sure to comment and let us know what was uh, something that you didn't know about the product that you now know and why you want to try the product. And we're going to pick four winners uh, to win this awesome product. Awesome. That sounds good. Yeah. Good. And Colin, do you have any last words, anything that you uh, want everybody to know about Triacta? Uh, you know what? I, no, not really. If anybody wants um, any more information, feel free to reach out to us to comment, um, email us. Um, let us know if you have any questions about the product. We're happy to hear from, from customers at, at any time. Uh, for anybody who did comment and the question wasn't answered, I will try to um, get to your questions as well so that um, cover everything that everybody wanted to learn. 
That's great. Well, thank you so much for being on our Vendor Friday. We hope you, the audience, learned a little bit about this really cool product and how it can benefit your pet, dog, and cat at home. And thank you so much, Colin, for joining us. Thanks a lot, Melissa. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Bye.